Rapidcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Good morning, traders. Can you hear me and see my screen? If you could, just type yes in the questions. All right, excellent. Thank you. Okay, welcome to the Bookmap Platform Details webinar. This is Bruce at Bookmap. Risk disclaimer, trading futures, equities, and digital currencies involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. Uh, for more information, go to bookmap.com. Uh, the uh, software product comes along with education. All right, now this video is uh, going through the platform details for those that are new uh, and um, uh, we'll get into some of the order flow as well. Uh, we always do, uh, but uh, uh, we get into the advanced order flow webinars uh, later uh, at 11 a.m. Eastern time, and uh, we go through uh, uh, detail uh, about the uh, about the order flow and not so much about the platform. Okay, so uh, we have an educational course uh, is four parts, uh, and um, uh, you can access that. And then uh, we have the advanced order flow webinars that support that educational course uh, content. All right, so that's the, the concept here. Uh, and uh, to get you up and running and understanding uh, what you're looking at in Bookmap and how to use it. Okay, and I can uh, pass the uh, uh, webinar link out uh, for the advanced uh, order flow webinar if you guys uh, would like to see that uh, since it's Friday. Uh, we're going to, st we started uh, again uh, next week. Uh, so uh, uh, you guys can get a taste of what that, uh, what that order flow uh, webinar is like. Okay. So uh, let me know and I'll, I'll, um, uh, I'll pass it out to you guys here. Okay. Just a minute here. Let me get it. <clears throat> Okay, I'm going to put it into the chat box here. There you go. Okay, so uh, that's uh, if you got the you've got the webinar link, um, and uh, that will follow immediately after uh, after this webinar. Okay, so let's go through uh, Bookmap.com for those of you who are new here. Um, just go to the, the website here and then we can scroll down uh, the um, hmm. not sure if uh, they're working on it at the moment things look a little a little goofy here okay okay uh, all right. Well, anyway, you scroll down here, uh, and what you can see is the um, there's about uh, Bookmap here, uh, information about Bookmap, and then uh, a bit further down, uh, information about uh, Nasdaq Total View. You can get all U.S. equities uh, using uh, Nasdaq Total View. Okay, it's a, a data um, a service that we don't provide it. We just have a, an offering with uh, with a partner, um, and uh, that gets into connectivity here. So what? is Bookmap. It is a visualization software trading platform. And uh, we don't provide the data. All right. So you will need to uh, to provide your, your own data via your broker or uh, a paid paid data service. Okay. You can also see that there are some other trading platforms here like Ninja Trader, TTX Trader Pro, and Interactive Brokers Traders Workstation. Uh, these um, platforms we connect via the API uh, of these platforms. Uh, however, we're a platform just as they are, so you can connect directly to CQG, Rhythmic, Gain Capital, uh, IQ Feed, uh, Transact, or uh, Dev Experts. Okay, this Dev Experts here is for that Nasdaq Total View. Uh, good morning, Bill. Uh, up and running. Okay, great, great. Uh, well, uh, nice talking to you yesterday, and uh, I'm glad that uh, uh, you're up and running here with Bookmap. All right, a bit further down. So here are the different packages that are available. Okay, so you can subscribe monthly or yearly. Okay, and um, 
let's just go through the uh, the two versions here. Well, I mean, there's basically four versions, but there's digital and then the global. All right, so uh, the digital is a new offering. We now connect uh, to the GDAX exchange for digital currencies or cryptocurrencies. Uh, there's a free version here. It only connects to one uh, digital currency uh, of your choice, and um, uh, it's through GDAX, and it, it, is, it is live. Uh, and uh, we will provide the data for you. Now, I mean, we have a, a connection or an, uh, an offering that uh, allows for a free free connectivity. Um, and um, uh, you get limited support and only basic education with that, okay? Uh, so that's the free version. Now, the Digital Plus uh, is uh, you get the real-time uh, one-click trading. You can actually trade from the chart in Bookmap, uh, and then you get... Uh, multiple symbols so you can uh, access uh, 20 uh, different uh, GDAX uh, digital currencies. Uh, you also get the US uh, equity data delayed. Uh, that also you get with the, the, the free version uh, as well. But you also get that education, that advanced education I was mentioning. Okay, so the course as well as the uh, advanced order flow webinars. Okay, and you also get full support. Global uh, is uh, for uh, everything in digital uh, plus, um, and it also um, uh, offers um, connectivity to the futures markets as well as U.S. equities. Okay, we don't provide that data, um, but we offer the connectivity. Okay, and it's $49 per month, uh, and you also get that advanced education. Uh, the Global Plus version here, $99 per month, and what you get is the ability to trade right from the chart, uh, and then this uh, cache here of um, uh, proprietary indicators we put together uh, to measure the order flow or understand the order flow. Okay, so for example, we have one here, the large lot tracker, uh, that uh, uh, identifies larger players holding the majority of liquidity at specific price levels. So uh, not only is it uh, order flow that we're starting to look at, we're starting to identify the players uh, in the order flow. Uh, there's imbalance indicators, there's an iceberg detector. So uh, larger players, again, using uh, iceberg orders, uh, we have an indicator that can uh, identify that. Uh, and we also have a correlation tracker. Okay, so Global and Global Plus both come with the, the advanced education and, and full support as well. Okay, and uh, if you're new here, you also, um, there's some links down below here, so take a look at these. Uh, if you need a data feed for free, uh, there's some trials here, so you can click here, uh, and uh, I think there's four different offerings for a free trial of data. So you can be up and running right now if you wanted to sign up uh, for uh, a Global or Global Plus and you don't have data, you can give it a try with uh, a free data feed. Uh, if uh, you want complete list of all the different features, you can click here uh, and get that complete list. Uh, and then there's, if you have any questions here, this would be the first starting point is, is our FAQ section. Okay. All right. Uh, you can follow us on Twitter. Pretty active now on Twitter. Uh, at bookmap underscore pro uh, is the Twitter handle. Uh, all sorts of new articles that uh, are being published here. So a lot of, a lot of great stuff. Uh, and then uh, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. Okay, just to go through very briefly our YouTube channel, uh, we have uh, some intro videos here. You can click on this uh, heading here to see all of the playlist uh, features and components. You can click on that playlist or the, the order flow video snippets. You can click here uh, and you're going to get um, a playlist of all these very uh, concise, uh, you know, about two to three minutes each uh, uh, videos that just go through understanding the order flow phenomena. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. All right. That's about it. Let's go through uh, what we're looking at here uh, in, in book map. All right. And um, uh, how many of you guys are, are new uh, to book map? If you could uh, just let me know. And uh, so I can uh, just go through um, and clarify what you're looking at here. Uh, else, uh, you know, maybe I'll start to get into some of the order flow. Um, and um, I mean, I do, I do see a few new new guys in here. All right, well, I'll briefly go through it. Um, so uh, uh, we, we go through this uh, pretty much every day uh, just to uh, uh, cover uh, the, the new, new traders. 
Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, uh, Nadolski, uh, I think uh, uh, you, you've been dealing with support as well. Uh, and, um, uh, you know, you were looking for uh, uh, maybe a callback. Um, well, you know, maybe I can help you right now. Uh, if you have any questions, I can answer them right now. Uh, so let, let me know. Um, that's what this uh, webinar is for, uh, is to answer you guys' questions about the platform. Okay. Uh, and um, uh, happy to do that uh, uh, in, in, this, uh, in this format, uh, especially since it's Friday and um, uh, you guys are going to have access to that advanced order flow webinar in about 20 minutes. Okay. So uh, uh, we can cover your questions now uh, and then... Um, uh, therefore, I don't have to answer your questions because I'm not going to uh, really answer your questions in that advanced order flow webinar. A few of them I will, but uh, it's got to be limited uh, because those are uh, clients that uh, are interested in understanding the order flow. Oh, okay. Oh, you're all set. Okay, great. All right. Well, let's just go through then um, uh, the just the basics here of what you're looking at in this bookmap chart. Okay, we're looking at the S&P E-mini, and you know uh, this probably looks really foreign to uh, to a lot of you guys. Okay, uh, this is a, a specific data here, uh, and it looks like there's a lot going on here. It's really not. It's really straightforward and simple data. Um, there are only three elements on this chart, and they're not a derivative of time, price, or volume. It's a very clear and objective view of the market probably one of the most objective views I've ever seen, okay? So uh, let's go through it. The three elements on this chart, historical best bid and offer, the volume that traded on that historical best bid and offer with the dots that you see here, the red and green dots, okay? And then you see this colored heat map. This, all it is, uh, is a represent a graphical representation of the, uh, the dome, okay? It's a historical um, recording of the dome. So where they're bidding and where they're offering in the depth of market, just recorded and plotted onto the chart. Okay, that's it. Uh, that's all we're looking at here. So just to uh, uh, go through some of the details, uh, let's pull off all of this data and then layer it on one after another. Here's a five-minute candlestick chart. Okay, and um, it's open, high, low, and close of a five-minute period. Okay, now the problem here with this candlestick chart is this aggregated data. Okay, it's it's uh, just four data points for five minutes. That's all you're getting. Okay, what about the volume? Okay, what about microstructures within here? What happened between this period and this period here? Okay, or down even better, down here, uh, this period and this next period here, because we're going to see something in the order flow here, and I'll show it to you. Um, a very, uh, it'll be a very interesting stuff to, to take a look at. And uh, all of this data here uh, is, is rather opaque. Uh, we really don't know uh, what occurred uh, between these periods. We don't know about the microstructures, but we don't know specifically about the volume, where it traded, uh, how much, uh, where exactly, uh, and uh, what type. Was it aggressive buying or selling? Okay, so let's turn on the best bid and offer. And here we go. Okay, so we're looking at uh, uh, just the um, very simple, uh, the the historical best bid and offer. Okay, and here's what occurred here, and here's what you're missing uh, with that candlestick chart. Okay, so um, uh, we can see that uh, there's a microstructure here. Okay, okay, a candlestick chart kind of picked that one up pretty pretty well here, as you can see. We just kind of went sideways back and forth, uh, but here's the breakdown. Okay, we broke down and uh, we made another little microstructure down here. Okay, and then we broke up out of that area. Okay, and uh, uh, how far did we, we broke up above the swings here, and, that, that, and that's important to understand. Okay, uh, and um, uh, then uh, we had a, a pullback here. And actually, uh, usually the pullback is about this deep here. We actually uh, tested this area here, and it's where we broke from in this structure. Okay? And we're, we're seeing if price is actually going to accept above out and outside of this range. It did not accept. It rejected down here. Okay. So all of, all of these traders down here, well, it's going to be trapped volume. Uh, but uh, just in general, it's just the auction down here, it, it didn't hold. 
uh, there were buyers that said that that saw something and 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 uh, they moved price up higher. Okay, and we're going to see that aggressive buying volume in here. Okay, uh, and uh, uh, we have a, a a little bit deeper pullback back into the range here and rejected here as well, uh, and we and we jumped higher. Okay, so uh, that's what's going on in these microstructural areas here, uh, and let's turn on the volume. Okay, here we go, and uh, this is that uh, those aggressive buyers that I was talking about. Okay, you see selling down here. Okay, a uh, little more selling, some sideways action here, and then look at this little area here. So uh, this is a uh, key to understand here in the order flow. It's essential. Uh, we see selling down in these areas here, but here's a, a, a retest of the low of the cash session uh, here at. Um, Oh, I'm sorry. It's right before the cash session. Okay, and uh, look at the uh, the amount of buying here, or I mean uh, the amount of selling here. Okay, once, twice, and thrice here. There's a little bit of selling here uh, at this level, uh, but that's it. Okay, so we're basically exhausting out on the sell side, and we're finding buyers starting to step in here. Okay, and this is where they lift the offer. So we break out of this microstructure and look at the break. Okay, this is another a key concept to understand in order flow. Uh, look at the uh, the buying that uh, is lifting the offer in this area. There's some selling down here, but it's not very much. We rotate back up and we find more buyers, and then the 9:30 open. I mean, there's always lots of volume at the 9:30 open. Uh, so maybe this isn't the best example, but uh, order flow wise, it's 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 still um, quite quite a good example. It's just a lot of buying here. Okay, if they're sweeping the book higher, uh, they're taking all the liquidity at each level, and they're pulling the market up, okay, out of this range here. Okay, here's our retest back to this range top, you know, uh, right around here, uh, and then you see continuation to the upside. Okay, so that's what occurred here, uh, and uh, uh, this uh, understanding these concepts and who's in control. Uh, is going to give you uh, a distinct advantage in your trading. Okay, so we we never come back down to revisit this little microstructural area. Okay, we do come back and visit here, uh, and it's going to be kind of the point of control or most traded level of all of this volume here, most likely. Uh, and you can see that uh, we accepted higher, it rejected down here, uh, and uh, and buyers stepped in again. Okay, and they lifted the offer. Okay. All right. Any questions on uh, on some of that? Uh, just to show you the details here, uh, and you know, I, I, I'm just going to show this to you because um, uh, it's it's essential to understand what we're displaying here, uh, because we don't trade at these levels, at these really low time frames here. As I as you can see, I can zoom in. I can see so much data. I can see every single detail here. Of what what unfolded here, okay? We're looking at uh, microsecond level here, okay? These are millions of seconds, all right? In fact, let me zoom out and uh, well, note how we're showing every single uh, market event, okay? Look at these little tranches of buying here, okay? Someone hit the market buy, and uh, uh, potentially algorithmic activity here. I mean, we can see that there's a mechanical spacing, a buy, a cluster of three. Another buy cluster of three, another buy cluster of three, and then also here. Okay, so it starts to uh, to give us insight uh, to uh, not only uh, the buy volume, but uh, what type of uh, buy volume and what kind of players involved. Now we had all of that detail, okay, of every single market event. But as I zoom back out, look what we do here. Okay, we just visually or graphically aggregate this together. Okay, and now you can see. Uh, it's just a bigger green dot. Okay, this is the aggressor classification of um, uh, buy volume. Okay, a green dot that 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 uh, uh, hits or uh, lifts the offer in, into the um, uh, the best offer right here, the red line. The green line here. This is the best bid. Okay, so you're going to see red dots, and uh, that's a market sell. All right. So that's what you're looking at. Just these two very simple elements here. Okay, but the insight that you're getting uh, can be profound. 
okay here's another uh, uh, this is a um, not the greatest example this is a better example here now there's a little bit of latency here between the quotes data and the trade data when we start to get into these kind of low latency uh, uh, areas here uh, you, you you start to experience a little bit of a, a distinction between uh, the two different uh, uh, types of data that are coming in okay quotes data versus that trade data Okay, they, they, they come into the platform via different protocol. So that's, uh, that's why you get that uh, uh, difference, okay? Uh, but uh, this is uh, a phenomenon that uh, we go through in the very basic, um, the first video uh, that covers the, um, the education uh, in Bookmap, okay? Uh, the, the educational process that, or course that we have. And this is called a sweep of the order book. All right, so they come in here and the aggressive buyer wanted everything at this price level, took everything at the next price level, and then traded up into here, okay? And they didn't take everything up in this price level. They took um, some of it, okay, but not all of it, right? And uh, we kind of, the, the best uh, uh, offer uh, goes down a tick as well as the best bid here, and it kind of goes sideways for a little bit. But again, that buyer's, you know, buyers step in here and they sweep the book once again here, okay, as you can see, okay. So uh, that's how we move from one price level to the next, right? And you can see that on much higher time frames here as well, okay. So now we're looking at, um, uh, you know, it's 10 seconds between each vertical dotted line, okay. So uh, although this happened really quickly, it's essential to understand uh, that uh, the buyers are in control here, okay? And look at the pullback to where it broke from here and initiated where they initiated that buying, okay? All of this fits really nicely uh, into uh, uh, auction market theory, all right? Okay, so let's take our candlestick chart off here now uh, and um, uh, note the... Um, uh, the aggressor uh, uh, coming in and, and moving that uh, moving that price higher. Okay. Now the the final element here we want to look at uh, is the um, uh, what's happening actually outside of these transactions. Okay, and that's from the dome. So let's go to the current market and I'll explain. Okay, here we're here we're looking at the um, uh, the current market in the S and P. Right, and let me turn on the heat map. There we go. All right, so uh, now this vertical white line that you see here, okay, everything to the right of it here uh, is the live market. And uh, so this is your best bid and offer current. Okay, this, this number here is your last traded volume on the best bid or offer. And here's your price ladder. Uh, and then this COB column that you see here, uh, what you're looking at in the COB column is your current depth of market. Okay, so these are traders lined up here on the uh, offer providing liquidity. Uh, and here they are on the bid providing liquidity. They want to be uh, buyers down here and they want to be sellers at these specific price levels up here. Okay, and you can see that these numbers are changing. Okay, they're changing all the time. Traders are providing and pulling liquidity all the time. Okay, so what we do is we take these numeric values here and in this window here with the best bid and offer, we paint them in the heat map. Okay, so what you're looking at here is high liquidity. Okay, so there's 508 contracts at 42 and almost 500 here at 42 and a quarter. And it's painted here as orange. Okay, the scaling is over here in this little heat map. Dark gray is very low liquidity and uh, uh, very high liquidity is this orange color. Okay. You can see that they're starting to come in here on the bid. Okay. Now, you, the numbers change and the heat map changes. Okay. But where this really gets interesting is we take that data and we project it onto the chart. Okay. So note this little, the little changing down here, okay, back and forth. They're pulling and adding liquidity. Well, that's, it, it ends up with these striations here plotted onto the chart. So you can see that adding and pulling. Okay. This is where they started to come in. They started to show some buying interest right around here. Okay. Now here comes price down to test these guys. 
uh, and they're starting to pull. Okay, so now it gets interesting. We're starting to understand the context of their intent to trade at these levels. Okay, first off, it's not as high liquidity as it is up here on the offer, and then secondly, uh, they're uh, they're starting to pull as price is coming down to test them. Okay, so that means that they they don't really uh, want to trade, okay? and we're and we're gauging that and understanding that. Uh, let's see. Okay, uh, Ron, uh, you want to talk about the VWAP? Yeah, that's a new indicator we have in the, the um, uh, order flow. Um, or I'm sorry, in this new bookmap seven. Okay. So uh, let me let me uh, show that. Okay. And I'll need to zoom vertically, which you can do is just by, uh, uh, you can zoom in and out very quickly. You don't need to use these tools up here. You can just use your center mouse wheel to zoom out in and out really quickly. Or you can click on this hand tool, hover over an area, and then zoom really quickly with your, your center mouse wheel as well. Okay. So um, uh, that's how I'm, I'm zooming. Um, but uh, I also want to go over uh, how you can zoom vertically uh, by uh, left click and hold and drag up and down. Okay, so uh, now I can see my VWAP indicator down here. Okay, so the VWAP is just um, uh, the uh, volume weighted average price. Okay, that's it. That's all it is. Uh, and uh, but it's it's uh, um, calculating this VWAP here uh, based on all of the the volume data that I have within my bookmap chart. Okay, so uh, Ron, your VWAP may look different than mine depending on uh, when uh, uh, you started uh, up book up uh, book map. Okay, and here it is in this column as well, this SVP column, and you can see it with this little white line here. So we have it in the uh, in the volume column as well as on the chart here. Okay, and uh, why is it important? Well, we know that uh, a lot of the larger players uh, are very interested in the VWAP and also the TWAP, okay, the time-weighted average price. Okay, so reversion, uh, kind of mean reversion uh, type of uh, strategies. All right, okay. Uh, well, let's see here. Let me give you, let me pass that link back uh, to those that uh, came in a bit later here. There you go. So uh, we're going to end this webinar and we're going to jump to the next one uh, and then uh, uh, look at the order flow in much more depth. Okay. And that's what you'll receive uh, along with that educational course is uh, access to the uh, the daily advanced order flow analysis, analysis webinars. Okay. All right, guys, uh, let's see, bookmap platform, also a charting platform. Um, I'm not really sure what, what you mean by that, uh, uh, Nod Nodesky. Uh, um, I mean, this is um, a, a chart, uh, and um, it's just uh, we're showing the data, visualizing this data in a, in a unique way. Uh, that's giving uh, quite quite a bit of insight here. Okay, very, very uh, traditional chart. Well, that's uh, more like uh, just uh, showing the candlestick. Okay, and that's about it. All right. But no, uh, we're, we're doing something uh, uh, different than uh, uh, the other uh, uh, charting platforms out there. And that's what uh, it, it makes it distinct and gives you the advantage. All right, so uh, click on the link there uh, in the chat if you want to go visit uh, the uh, Advanced Order Flow webinar, and uh, we'll see you there.